Hello, my name's Claire from Conscious Chemo and in this video I'm going to talk about the preparations I made before my operation. So I had a lumpectomy and a full lymph node um, clearance. I really didn't want to have a full lymph node clearance. I asked loads of questions. I asked about five different times if they could take either a they can take a third, two thirds or the whole lot. And I really wanted them just to take a third. And when I was being tested, I was told they were gonna put a, um, a clip in the lymph node that was definitely positive and just take that one out. And then when I went for the, to have the clip put in, they, a marker put in, they said that it was in more than one. So I'd need to have, well, I thought they'd said three or four out. So I thought, fine. So they didn't put a marker in and actually, as things transpired the surgeon said no what she meant is there was at least three or four lymph nodes that were positive so you're going to have to have all the lymph nodes out now because i didn't have a marker put in to the one that was definitely positive they then couldn't t say which ones needed to come out and which ones were less likely to need to come out so because of that i had to really have the whole lot removed so if i was to have my time again i would insist on the marker being put in the lymph node that was definitely positive then i'd have asked for that third to be removed and then if that was all clear i would have left the rest in and if they weren't all clear then i would have had the rest out and the chances are that they really wouldn't have they wouldn't have been clear so I had my, or would have been clear, I had my chemotherapy first so they can tell how well you've responded when you have your chemo first. And I'd had a complete um, radiological response. So my MRI scan showed no evidence of disease. So I knew I'd had a really good response. So, um, so if you are looking to have minimal lymph nodes removed, I would ask them to put a marker in a lymph, the lymph node that they know is definitely positive when they are when they're doing their initial um, diagnostic assessments so that further down the road it's up to you you could request that they take um, that third away rather than all of them and I did talk this through with my oncologist in depth and she did agree that it would make sense that if that third had been clear then the rest would be clear um, you know however I did have them all removed they were all clear so I didn't need any of them removed but it's a peace of mind um, and I did go into a meditation before the operation and asked if I needed um, all my lymph nodes removed and, th and the answer was no but it will give you a peace of mind and I actually thought there is a lot to be said for a peace of mind and especially as I do believe the trigger for my cancer was stress um, stress induced and emotional trauma so um, so I went with what would give me a peace of mind um, so and then pre preparing for the op um, so I knew that there was a risk of lymphedema when they, re when they remove your lymph nodes. So I um, got some essential oils that were good for lymphatic drainage, um, you know, just lightly massaged my arms and brought a brush. And I would use essential oils in my bath that were went to be good for lymph, stimulating lymph flow. Um, I made sure I did all of the exercises that they recommend post-operation in order to reduce um, the chances of lymphedema, but also to keep all the tissue around there moving to, re to prevent excess tension, stiffness. Um, obviously, that is my background, being a yoga and Pilates teacher. I've been a personal trainer, health and fitness industry, so I'm kind of quite conscientious and aware of the importance of that. I did still have some cording under my armpit, um, but with constant and continual exercises that, that has now resolved, but it took quite a, you know, a few months. So it's really important to do the exercises and they are all available for free on this website. Um, you, I'm actually, I actually recorded myself as I was doing them, as I was post recovery, so in real time. Um, so, the cording is like a thick sensation and it, it's counterintuitive sometimes to think to keep stretching when it feels that there's some restriction, but it's the stretching that will help you to overcome the restriction. So listen into your body, but don't be afraid to keep moving and keep stretching if you're having cording. Um, and then I also had seroma fluid post-op for quite a while as well. Um, and I had it drained twice um, and that has resolved it's almost now you can't see it and that was about four months ago 
so things will pass but i would um you know be sure that you've got the exercises to hand follow me and uh, follow mine there's lots of different lengths or, or do your own thing but i really strongly recommend that you that you do those they make a huge difference to your recovery process um before the operation i did a um coherent breathing 20 20, 20 minutes of six six breathing um I'll put a link to a video for that uh, in, in under this video. Um, that's really good for resetting your nervous system, um, calming, um, balancing. So really powerful breath practice to take with you before the op. And also if you're having any pre-op nerves or anxiety, which is completely understandable, it really helps us to calm, ground, center, lower blood pressure, stabilize heart rate, all the functions that you want to be performing well ahead of your operation. Um, and I also did a yoga nidra, which you can access for free on um, Spotify. Um, and there are also some on the Harmonize Online Studio um, website if you are a member there, or there's a 30 day free trial. So you could do, start a free trial, use the recordings and then continue to continue or not. Um, but I would recommend, you know, when you're in waiting for your operation, you know, putting your energy into positive things that will prepare you, such as a breath practice, a nidra or a meditation. Um, because, of course, that is a time when your mind could start racing uh, and feeling a little anxious about what may be to come. Um, so that would be a preparation that I would suggest. Make sure you ask all the questions you want to ask. Um, and just try and pull your mind back to, to, to being present. So I hope that's helped. Um, you know, and be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself, give yourself time to heal. So definitely clear the decks for a few, few weeks post-op. Um, give yourself that time to heal and, and to recover. Uh, so thank you for listening and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you, bye.